Good afternoon. I don't uh, want to stand up here and pretend that anything that I say will take away the pain felt right now by the families, friends, and comrades of Larry Leggio or John Mesh. There truly are no words that will help make any sense of this. And I know that each of you are feeling a loss that cannot be defined, cannot be described, certainly can't be understood. But today, as I stand before you, it is not my intent to try to define, describe, or to understand the loss, because I don't have the answers. Instead, I simply hope to recognize the loss and through your mourning let you know that an entire city mourns alongside you. Larry Leggio dreamt of a life as a firefighter since he was a very young boy. He followed in the footsteps of his father, and he fulfilled that dream as an adult in the very neighborhood where those dreams took shape. He wound up at Station 17, where he formed friendships, bonds, and dedicated his life to doing the work that he loved for 17 years. He loved this life, and he treasured the work that he did. You could hear it in the stories that he told. You could see it in his smiles. You could feel it when he was nearby. And to Missy, his wonderful wife, you were a part of that dream, and you were a part of his soul, and that spirit lives on through the love that you two shared. John Mesh came from a large family, and he placed his family and the love he had for them above all else. He believed in tradition and in doing what was right. His life was defined by moments of duty, of leadership, and of love. He was proud of the work that he did for 13 years, but he never sought recognition for it. To his wife, Felicia, and your four beautiful daughters, Adriana, Alyssa, Alexandra, and Alicia, not only do we recognize the life that your father led, we cherish it, we celebrate it, and all of that, all of that will still live on through you. Over the course of the past week, I've taken the opportunity to read as much as I could about these two men and to see and to, and to find out as much about them as I possibly could. While I didn't know them personally, I wanted to know them as best I could, and I wanted to understand what they meant to the people that they left behind. And there really is no way to define that loss. But the one thing that I did note is that there was, that this is a loss that reaches far and wide. The things I've seen on TV, on social media, and in the many gatherings that have taken place all over the city shows me that there is an insurmountable, unprecedented outpouring of love and support. That outpouring is equal to the love and support these men had for their families, for their comrades, and for the work that they loved. Their sacrifice is felt in the entire community. It has impacted the region, and it has spread nationwide. As I think about all the facts that I read over the past week, I recognize that John and Larry are more than texts from a newspaper article or a clip from the 6 o'clock news show. The essence of their character cannot be captured by mere facts about their lives. It's in the memories that they made with their families. It's in the unbreakable bonds that they built with their fellow firefighters. And it is most accurately defined in their final moments of life. Not very many people wake up every day with the knowledge that while at work they put their lives on the line. But that's the difference between us and our first responders especially the men and women who run into dangerous situations when everyone else is running away from it. To do that takes courage, bravery, and conviction that many people will never understand. It's beyond honorable. It is beyond inspiring. It is indeed the essence of heroism. One thing that happens when someone you love passes on is that people are then confronted with a number of decisions that need to be made in rather short order. You'll often hear about the importance of honoring the wishes and the, of the deceased and how incredibly important that is, not only for them, but to the families that they leave behind. 
What I want to share with the Legio and Mesh families is that those decisions extend far beyond the next few days or even the next few months. As the weeks, months, and years pass by, you'll have many opportunities to honor the wishes of, the lo of your loved ones. You'll do it every day when you meet grief with grace, when you meet challenges with strength, when you meet uncertainty with resolve, and when you live the very best life that you possibly can. That's how we honor the memories of those that we've lost, and that's how we truly fulfill their wishes. It's how we keep them alive in our hearts, especially to John's four young daughters. Ladies, as you go forward in your lives, know that your father had great dreams for you, great aspirations for you, and know that although there are many challenges in life, he would have wanted you to run towards them. He would have wanted you to face them and come out braver, stronger, and better because of it. No one is here to tell you that it's going to be easy, but you will find that strength in you to do what you need to do. To Chris Anderson and Dan Werner and to the members of Station 17 and Station 10 and to the entire Kansas City Fire Department, you have also suffered a tremendous loss. The trust that you place in each other's hands on a daily basis forms a connection between you that unites you in life and tests you in times of death. In life, your brothers place their lives in your hands. And now the knowledge of that brings you to your knees. But know that your brothers, John and Larry, are counting on you to rise above the pain. Almost two years ago to the day, I lost my oldest son, Eric. And what I can tell you about the loss of someone that you love dearly is that it runs deep. And what we know is that grief has a starting date, but it does not have an end date. Perhaps the most difficult part about losing my son is thinking about all the life that he had in front of him. And although John and Larry were not my sons, in many ways we all feel that this city has lost two sons of our own. And that's a loss that we never quite get over and one that we should never ever forget. Like I said, I, I don't have the answers, but I'm certain that this city wants to embrace you in your time of need. In the search for answers, we often come up empty-handed, but we needn't look any further than their hearts to know the truth. In life, there is no triumph without tragedy, and today we honor the lives of John Mesh and Larry Leggio. They did the work that they love, in life and in death, they were triumphant. And that, my friends, is really the only answer that we need.